Okay. So, in order to change the bearings in a steering wheel or to keep one from moving up and down at all, this one's tight. It's just this steering wheel's already actually been removed. Uh, you first have to take off the horn cover, take the nut off that holds this in. We're just going to leave the adapter plate on for now. On a different type of steering wheel, that's the stock type, not one of these type. <clears throat> aftermarket type. On the stock type, you take that nut off, then you put a pulley puller on it that'll grab the steering wheel and put pressure in here to pull it off because you won't be able to beat the steering wheel off unless you had a couple of hammers um, to, to whack at it. It'd take a lot. Um, and it'll it'll be rough to do, but I just can pop this one off, and I've already taken it off, basically. Just got to pop it off a few times here, and the whole steering wheel will come right off, okay? Because that's an aftermarket type steering wheel. Then you have to use a screwdriver to remove this cover that's on here, and then behind that, um, is, uh, well, I'm just, I'm just going to use this 3-in-1 deal here. Take this little cover off. Okay. I'm trying to do this one-handed as best to videotape it. Um, anyways, behind all this, you've got this spring-loaded deal here. Okay, it's a lock plate. Now, I'm using a steering wheel lock plate tool remover installer that I've already taken out of the package as you can see. Alright, this is the way it comes in the package with an extra one of these. It's about a, I don't know, about a 15 or $20 tool, 25 I don't even remember what I paid for it. Okay, so anyhow, you get the one that best fits your steering wheel, um, which this one going over I'd say it's the brass one. Is this one here? Let's see. I can actually be wrong about that too. Oh, it's threading on just fine. Okay, so this one right here, thread it on. Just use the one of these that it calls for, of course, which on this one looks like it could be either way you want to do it. Um, I'm going to use the one that sticks out to the edges here, the bigger one. So, you're going to screw in the bolt to here. And that's going to relieve pressure on this. And then you have this spring clip, this C-clip right here. Okay. Let's see if I can get a good view of it. There we go. That little round piece of steel C spring C-clip, there's the top notch of it up there on the top. Right in here where my finger is at is where you should be looking. Right in here. That C-clip, when you relieve the pressure from the locking plate, you will pick that out with a screwdriver on each side and a picking tool. Um, you can probably just pop it out with a screwdriver once you get this pressure off this lock plate. Then you remove the lock plate, remove the horn assembly, and then inside of there is the screws for right here's one. The screws for the, um, in that hole, see, screws for the turn sig signal assembly. There's one, two, three, or four of them. Take that out, and then there's one screw that holds this tumbler in. You can take that out, then you're down to the, uh, getting to the four screws. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here, deep inside there, that actually keep this thing, uh, mounted and they wear they they wear themselves loose all you have to do is take them out put lock thread loctite on them the kind that does not come apart easily the red kind the blue is serviceable the red is non-serviceable you want the red one to lock them in good and that'll take care of this problem you can rebuild the bearings while you're in there um but uh it's not necessary unless a couple of them have fell out and you've got a whole lot of slop in your in your steering wheel um but they're easy to get to, and you can at least regrease them while you're in there. And then there's a, a key that comes down here, pushes way down a rod. You have to make sure that rod is set in place down at the bottom and up top while you're putting it together. And uh, there's these two pins on each side 
this is how you take the thing apart. Um, they're over on this left side, just past this cover. You have to take this cover off. This plastic cover comes off by uh, getting it past this steering signal switch bar. There's a screw that holds it on. You take that off. You finagle it off this way. The whole thing will uh, drop down a bit. You do not remove the steering wheel column to to fix this problem. Okay, and if you replace one from a junkyard, it's liable to do the same thing in six months anyways. So you might as well do it the correct way, like by taking the part like this, taking the bolts out, clean them up with a wire brush, brake parts cleaner, and uh, wipe them dry with a paper towel, get all the pieces of metal out of them, and uh, basically put Loctite on them and put them back in. All right, in order to get to them, though, you have to take this cover off, and there's these two pins, one on each side, and there's a certain uh, steering wheel pin puller tool that you use for that uh, and I'll show that in another video